What's up? This is Krim, and I'm going to be showing you how to set up Osteolink Pro to not only record FL Studio, but also use FL Studio as your microphone, whether you're chatting with friends, playing video games, or whatever you might be doing using your microphone. And I will help you set up OBS to record up to four different audio tracks and any other recording software that lets you split up audio that way. I will be using OBS as an example, but without further ado, let's get into it. Be downloading Osseo Link Pro. And I'm making this video because it took me forever to find out how to do this. There was no videos explaining this thoroughly and it was just a pain in the ass. So you're gonna wanna go to the Give Academy link here's the osseo link pro and then this is going to be your patcher unless you're running <coughs> windows 32 which i doubt anybody is just download the 64 patcher that's all you need go check out your downloads go to your downloads run osseo link pro and you should follow this step by step there's there's a couple of ways you can mess up. Unless you need 16 devices, don't install that. I agree. Let it go to where it wants to go. It's up to you if you want a shortcut or not. It's yeah, I would install it. If they want to install it, let them install it. But here's where you're going to want to... Don't let it run. You can run it, but don't let it run because when it did it to me, it ran the 32-bit version and I had to uninstall it and start over. So you can go ahead and run the regular one, not the 32-bit, unless you're on a 32-bit system. And then choose your Osseo driver. I'm using a Focusrite Scarlet 2i4. Alright, so as soon as I ran the program, it bugged my audio, so here I am after the fact doing a voiceover. So right now you have it installed and working, but it is in trial mode. So now you need to unlock it with the Pro Tool Patcher, which is zipped, so go ahead and extract it. Extract. Osseo Link Pro Tool Patcher. That just makes it a folder, so there you go. You're going to grab this folder and drag it into where Osteo Link Pro installed. So go ahead and find out where yours installed. It, if you left it, it should be similar to where I'm heading right now. Program Files 86. Osteo Link Pro 64. Drag and drop. Continue. Go ahead and run it. <coughs> And that's it, success. Should be good to go. Now when you launch Osseo Link Pro, it will be unlocked. All right, so here we are with Osseo Link Pro open. Every time you run it, you're gonna come over here and hit start Osseo. And it'll run this window. And this is how it should look by default. And if it doesn't, you should route it this way. So one to one, two to two, one to one, two to two, one to one, two to two. You're basically routing your left and your right speakers. And this is what else it installs. And if you don't know how to open this, this is what you do. Open sound settings. This window's on the way. It stays on top for some reason. But there it is, sound control panel. And so when you install Osseo Link Pro, it also installs these additional one, two, three, four. Osseo. And same for the recordings. These are mix one through four. And that's speaker one, two, three, and four. I like to leave the first one default. And then I have a preset profile that I might uh, find a way to let you guys download it so you can just load it and all I'm doing is linking pretty much this this is the third channel to one 
to 1, 2 to 2. It may not say 2. It may say 34, but it's basically 2. Connect them that way and make sure you run it to the main 1 and 2. Otherwise, you won't hear nothing that's sent to this track. So, it's pretty simple once you get the gist of it. It took me forever to learn, though. Yeah, but these are my presets. The two only presets that you need. If you um if I can I'll let it set it up so you guys can download. But if not, this is easy. You're just gonna go ahead and copy what I got going on here, save your own preset. So the next part, we're gonna set up FL Studio. So your FL Studio won't open with this window immediately because you won't have it you won't have your ASIO set, but if when you do get this window open, route one to one, two to two in your second channel. And here I'm gonna show you what you you're gonna do if that didn't open for you. Your device might be set to your default, which mine is my focus right. You're gonna to want to choose your Osseo Link Pro. And there you go, that window will open. And it'll auto open by default. And that's how it looks when you first open it. But with this profile, that's all you want to do. Simple as that. Oh, yeah. And then here's your format. You want to make sure all of it is the same all across. So here, just to make sure, you want to go back into your sound control panel. Playback should be... 44 1 24 bit right click properties advanced boom everything should be set to that no questions asked whatever you have it set to all of them should be the same cool so here we are this should be good as long as you got this going oh yeah and there's yeah there's three open but they're each doing their own thing right now so don't worry about them. Don't close. You can hit the X on the top right, but don't stop and don't close. And when you exit out of FL Studio, we'll close this one on its own. FL Studio is using that, so don't worry. Everything over here looks good, sweet. The way we set it up, perfect. You're set up for the most part, but here I'll show you what you do when you set up your microphone as an input device in FL Studio. There you go. Input. Choose your link one. It should be at least. And here's here's probably how it looks as soon as you open it. But with my preset, all I'm doing is connecting one to one. I am doing a voiceover, so I'm just trying to stay on time as much as I can. I don't know what the hell my past self is talking about right here. Fucking scrub. Anyways, you're connecting your one-to-one -one and then routing it to your second channel. Your one-to-one -one on the second channel to the right. Your one, your two-to-two -two on your second channel. And that's it. Going back to our sound settings and sound control panel. And then you'll see in our recordings, it's popping out in our mix too where we sent it. And then your speakers one and mix one, everything's going to come out of there. So if those are bouncing, don't worry about that. And you're. And I'm just saying how this third channel is going to be set up for your Discord, TeamSpeak, whatever you might be using that you want to record on a separate audio track. And everything is ticking and checking out, looking good. So you're all set up in FL Studio. You leave it open if you want to use it as your mic. If not, you're set up to record it. Maybe you want to live stream your DAW, whatever. And mix three. Here we go. The only reason I used OBS was to um, let Discord open in streamer mode, keep that personal info hidden. But one thing I did find out during this whole test was that streamer mode did not let any audio come out of Mix 3, but this is all you gotta do. 
You either want to use your regular mic or you want to use your FL Studio mic, which is now set to mix two. Your output set to speakers three. Perfect. You're, you're set up. You're good to go. You should be able to hear everything. The only reason I can is because for some reason streamer mode stopped. As soon as I stopped recording and disabled streamer mode, everything was fine. So if you go back into OBS as soon as I decide to open it. Oh yeah, I tried restarting Discord because it didn't want to open. I mean, it didn't want to show me the sound or let me hear anything because streamer mode. But I assure you it works. Here we go. We're going to go into OBS and mess with your audio settings. I'm not teaching you any video settings, just audio. So make sure your sample rate's the same all across the board, all the same. Your desktop is going to be speakers one now. I'll see your pro driver. Your mic will either be your default mic or if you want to use FL Studio as your mic, set it to mic to Osseo Pro Driver. FL Studio does have to be open. And you can see it bouncing in here if I go and I just disable it. And go back over here. And see it's not bouncing anymore. It's not being activated because it's not sent, being sent to the master both working properly there we go and here I just give you a small example of how you could mess with uh, your voice and add effects just have fun with it mess with your friends so uh, yeah for some reason it crashed but it just reloaded just fine it happens every once in a while. No biggie. And then boom, your mix three is basically your Discord. We sent it out to channel three. We're going to record it as mix three in OBS. This is pretty much it, but there's one more thing you want to do. Check your output. Check your recordings and then record your audio tracks so yeah we have three separate audio tracks but I choose to record four and I smash all three into one recording so that when I'm listening back on my computer when, not in my um, video editor I can hear all hear them all without having to load it all on my video editor so it's it's handy it's helpful I like to set it up that way so now all you got to do is go to your advanced audio properties and make sure that the tracks are going to be recorded the way you want them to. So in the first one, I like to record all three. It's going to be all smashed all together. The second one will be a separate, only the desktop. The third one will be only my mic. And the fourth will be only Discord. And that is it. You guys should be set up and good to go, ready to stream your DAW. Use FL Studio as your microphone and separate your friends microphone and voice from your own so i hope this video helped you guys if you liked it be sure to smash that like button share it to a friend who might be interested in this and might be looking to learn something new i hope you guys enjoyed and if you did let me know if you have any questions be sure to leave them in the comments and i hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day much love and peace